President of INO.com and co-creator of Market Club with your video market update for Tuesday, the 2nd of April. Well, the question is, are we rearranging the deck chairs on the Titanic? I am, of course, referring to Europe and not our markets here in the U.S. because right now we're making new highs in the S&P 500. As you can see right now on the chart, this is a three-month daily chart. <clears throat> and you can see that all of our trade triangles have continued to be green, and this is a new high on the move and looking very, very good at the moment. So again, the trend is your friend. And if we put our couple of indicators on here, like the Donchian trade channels right towards the top of the Donchian trade channel, but also you've got the, we'll also put our, our parabolics on there, which is right here. And you can see the parabolics are way down here at 1540, which is still a good sign. So we've been positive on this market for quite some time. You can see there at 1470 on our monthly. There it is again right here. So the market's doing very well. 100 points in there on the SP, not too shabby. And we like this market still until it changes. And that's what you want to change with it. So moving on to our next market. And that's going to be the euro. Now, we've told you about the euro. This is like re rearranging the deck chairs on the Titanic. You saw that today we had Michael Saris, who's the finance minister of Cyprus, resigned. That's going to be a, to me, Cyprus is the tip of the iceberg. You've got unemployment officially in Europe at 12 percent and unemployment for youths at 55 percent in Spain. That is not a situation that continues. We see this market slowly melting like an ice cube, as we mentioned before. We see this and Europe coming under more and more pressure. Would not be surprised to see new lows in the next week or two in the euro. Moving along to the Dow. The Dow is being the stellar, the winner here. Still new highs here coming up. 1466, the trend is your friend. We've said this all the time on this market, the trend is your friend, and it continues to trend upward and defy perhaps what the fundamentals are at the moment. But the reality is the market's going up and that's all that's important to investors. Looking at gold, gold has taken a big dive. We've, talk, we've talked about this before, about gold being a situation where it's really building that base. And we've the lines are so clear to me, and I'm sure for many other traders, you've got the, the line that goes right across here in the support line right around here. We talked about this yesterday, 1580, 1560, so 1580, 1560, and then 1620 on the upside. That's the range you're in right now. Until you come out of that range, there's no real nothing to get too excited about. We are getting oversold. There may be a, uh, an opportunity to be a buyer down here if you want to pick bottoms. That's not how we trade, however. I want to see this market at least build a base and make a turn. I want to see a make a turn before we get long this market. And it hasn't done that yet. So let's clear that off and go to our next market. We're looking at the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ isn't quite as bullish. We've been talking about this for some time. We said we like the S&P 500 against the NASDAQ on a hedge type deal where you're long equal amounts of dollars in the S&P and short an equal amount in the NASDAQ. And that, I think, has worked out well. So let's go on to the next market. This is crude oil. Crude oil has had a little bit of a pullback, took it off its very overbought situation, still positive on this market. It's still showing 75, only the daily trade triangle is down, indicating we may see some more consolidation before we go higher. So. Let's go on to the next market is Tesla Motors. Actually, I'm going to be on CNBC today. Um, I believe the time is about 4.20, talking about Tesla and why we think this market can go much higher. So this guy is a winner, Elon Musk, and I think you have to give him credit when many electric car companies have failed. So there's the move. All of our trade triangles are positive. We see this in a positive light, this stock. Moving along to Abbott Labs. Whoops, we got some little error there, but let's just, just scope this out a little closer. And there's Abbott Labs giving a signal today to be a buyer at 35.34. That's today. Looks like it wants to go higher, plus 100, looking very, very good. We see this market in a bull trend. So let's go to our next market. And these are all shown up on our uh, trade triangles, by the way, on our trade triangles right here. This showed up, uh, these two stocks showed up as buys. Here's a monthly on this BGCP, BGC Partners and looking very good. This is new high, so we like the way this market looks. And if we scope this out even further to a weekly chart, leaving to a daily chart to a max, you see this market's had some good moves, but look at how our monthlies have really 
done extremely well on this particular stock. So I think the signals are worth looking at. And you can see here, nice buy signal, nice buy signal here, and a nice sell signal here, and so forth and so on. So this is a new, first time we've had a buy since the 15th of May of 2012. So it's a, it's a big turnaround. So let's see how that plays out. But um, this is all we have today. Obviously, we're watching the situation in North Korea. Is this guy nuts? I think he is. I think he's being pulled and manipulated by China to, just to see how far they can push us. And as always, the answer is, for at least for trading, is technical analysis using our Market Club's trade triangles. Hey, thanks a lot for using Market Club and for watching this video. I'll be back tomorrow with a more complete update on everything, so stay tuned.